a hat and mittens, because space is very cold. Two, a deck of cards, because space is very big. And three, some crackers, because <laughs> the moon. <laughs> who also is responsible for the Shark Week song. And you should know that there is a Shark Week video that you should see because it's like one of my first uh, official music videos that we actually made on purpose. <laughs> and it's amazing. Tiny little kids in fit hats. Baby, you say, 
Um, so uh, this time tomorrow I will be halfway to Iceland. Um, I wish I was stuck at longer because Iceland. Oh my God! Someone tell them. Um, someone tell Bjork I want to come hang out. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we will be going to, um, this is the end of my lower 48 tour for the year, but I'll be back next year, don't worry. Um, and, uh, and we are going to, I was rattling off the list about seven times today to my banks as I was calling them to say, don't shut down my credit card, I'm not traveling. Um, actually, I called them at the beginning of the year too and say, so I'm gonna be traveling this year, and they're like, where? And I'm like, I could give you a shorter list of where I won't be. Also, I'm not exactly sure yet. <laughs> So yeah, we're going to Germany, Austria, Switzerland, the Netherlands, um, the Czech Republic. We are going to uh, the UK. We are playing in Scotland and Ireland. Um, and it's going to take five weeks. And we will be very tired at the end of it. But it's going to be a hell of a ride. Um, I'm really, really excited. If you would all, anyone over there, anyone at all, whether or not they're in one of the cities where I'm playing, please, please let them know because this is my um, one giant, rather expensive, um, <laughs> rather exhaustive attempt to, um, to A, reward the fans over there who've been listening for five years and patiently waiting for a show, and, uh, and to B, make some more so that I can start going over there without doing giant fundraisers, um, just the normal way, you know. So, uh, but yeah, if you know anyone over there, please tell them. If you know anyone here, please tell them, because on November 13th, something very exciting is happening. Uh, November 13th? November 13th. That's right, I said November 13th, yes. Uh, Something Fierce has already been released, the record, the double record up there that I have, but it's gonna be released again, which is a weird thing that sometimes happens in indie music. Um, the reason it's being released again is because American Songwriter finally noticed it, the magazine. And because now, because they've noticed it, we are pitching it, and Spinner has noticed it, and now we're trying to pitch it to NPR and uh, Wired and some other like media outlets to just try and give it a little bit more attention before it disappears into the old news category, because they're really only interested in writing about a record that's being released right now. So it comes out on November 13th. And from November 1st through November 13th, we are playing a little online game. Uh, no purchase required of any kind. They're just little kind of mind games, little Sherlocky mind games that you um, can engage in uh, if you wish to. And anyone who participates in all 13 little mini games, sort of Zelda style, uh, at the end, the first uh, 100 entrants will definitely get a prize. And uh, four of the entrants will get pretty large prizes. Um, and you should, you should consider playing. So it will all be at MarianColeAdventureQuest.com, which was active during the Kickstarter and will be active again during these uh, games. So stay tuned. For what date? November 13th. Fantastic. Yes, very good. Don't forget. Oh, also, on, since we're having a beer together tonight, we will be having a beer together again on November 13th because I will be sharing a Guinness with you from Dublin via Google Hangout all day in every time zone. Um, I, it should be interesting by the time I get to your time zone. <laughs> so have a guess with me on Google Hangouts um, on the day of the CD release to have a virtual worldwide CD release party. That's the end of the talking. Okay, no more talking. Just music. This song is called Whistle While You Wait. <laughs> You're a hopeful from outside And people speak distinctly as if you're foreign And you forgot to plug your car in And you're clearly overdressed even for winter And your self-assurance slowly starts to splinter Oh, it takes a little effort to keep your head on straight To laugh as if you mean it to whistle while you wait Oh, it takes a little effort To warm up one more smile To bear another stare To brave another mile And when it's a first honey good Get to West Hollywood And you're slathered in sunscreen And you drive really slow So you know that they know That you're another 
jump with the train And you're wearing your own second-hand blue jeans And you keep turning your head in limousines And everybody else looks so damn pretty And you're feeling extra grungy and extra empty Well, it takes a little effort to keep your head on straight to dress just like you want to, to whistle while you wait. Oh, it takes a little effort to not avert your eyes, to trust that you belong there. It might just be yourself that you surprise. And when you're homeless, we host you tell town Austin, and the crowd's too cool for words. And you don't want to go, but you know that they know you're one of thousands of songbirds. And you can't hardly be heard above the racket. Cause everybody there is trying to have you. And you've never been compared to sleep outdoors yet. So you're feeling all the establishment in the courtroom. But all oh, it takes a little effort to keep your head on straight. To laugh and really mean it To whistle while you play Oh, it takes a little effort To sometimes plug your ears To play without pretensions But also, also without Some of us will never quite feel the thrill of being safe in our own skin. When it's your first time around, you might flounder a bit till you fit in. Although I am heartily inspired by folks who snatch your graces, I admire. I expect the truly confident are fewer than I am generally inclined to think. It's worth a little effort to look up in the eye Oh, the whistle while you're waiting to fly until you fly Oh, it's worth a little effort and a lot of honesty It's worth some work, believe me Take some work, believe me Takes just a little practice to learn to be
They drank all the filth, no end, and all the oranges and the bones of the rock, and they rested our hands, just squealed as he left. How remarkably deadly, how utterly thoroughly he failed to confess. He evaded the point, and he looked to the moon. She meant to convey when she played on the food. He even put up her hair, but the boy wouldn't fight, and it was almost sexy, but not quite. Still, how could she fret when she won that small bet with a well-meaning friend who swore it would end with a kiss and a cry and a happy reveal for what man could resist such a gem of a man? She collect on the cash, but her victory stung. She cast her the cap that had captured her tongue. She broke out the chocolate and started to write, and it was almost helpful, but not quite. Oh, dear sir, I've been dropping hints like bricks. If I dare her take this chance But do not underestimate me For the person that you'll find And if you feel that you're polite There might be something fierce inside Remember the fact where the two was meant Less of all from the blue, more a social and aptness. The cool kids swarm with me from the corner. That's why my poor heart before I could bother. Run from the bunch to fall to your side. The rest of me followed a bit starry eyed. You took off your hat and you bought me some wine, and it was almost awkward, but not quite. We rather observe than be part of the crush. Say, I can't do camera to break the good times. I'd have to use napkin to scribble some lines. The chemistry script just built up our toes. You shot no one else. I couldn't compose. You said I was sweet and you kissed me goodnight. And it was almost perfect, but not quite. No, dear sir, you've been dropping hints like bombs.
true story, very cool, um, in the music. Every time I say the line, Dear Sir, you've been dropping hints like bombs on me, um, I picture a small turtle in a cloud across the street dropping shells every time. It will not leave my head, and now I won't leave yours either. Um, <laughs> And I want 
to be present Every inch I want to remember where I am I bless these waves, this wind, this grace Please come see me. 
guys so, so much. Thank you for being the heartiest, happiest last United States concert before our big scary trip to Europe, um, where we will have a lot of awesome people, but also possibly a lot of empty rooms, so this is a wonderful send-off. I really appreciate you being here. Um, I would encourage you again, if you haven't, to pay the optional $5 cover. We take the regular kind of money and the cashy kind of money. And if you can't do that, we take the recommending to a bunch of friends before what day? November 13th. What day? November 13th. Exactly, that day. Um, yes, thank you very, very much. You are awesome. And um, if, uh, if this good music is, I, I have music I can't live without, you know. I have, I have CDs I can't live without, a lot of them. And, um, and if you feel that way about this music, um, I just hope you will continue to listen to it and spread it around. And if it has ever gotten anywhere, if I've ever been able to make new albums or new tours, it's because of you guys. So thank you very, very, very much. We have one last song for you tonight. It's the uh, last track of my new record, and it's called Anchorage. And it's a downer, but it's a happy downer. Because <laughs> that's kind of how life is, isn't it? This is all about home and finding a home and failing to find a home and ultimately realizing home is, is in your own body, which is hard, but good. Comforting. Well, 
Someday 